Sheikh is the latest victim of Section 498A and its misuse. India's anti-dowry law has now assumed draconian proportions and quite a few men claim that they are facing lawsuits under this section, which are at best concocted. Sohail divorced his wife under Islamic law days after marriage, citing previously undisclosed medical problems. Sohail subsequently received threats from his estranged wife and her family and humiliation at the hands of police. I feel it's only, only for the reason of uh, like, you know, to extract money and that was the reason why this marriage, they, because in our Islam, it says like, you know, we pay meher, we pay meher to the girl, we don't take anything and uh, it was like 41,000 that was decided. Gokul's story is no different. A broken marriage has left him doing the rounds of the court for the last three years. Today just some pictures remain. Gokul's once successful marriage has now degenerated into a messy legal battle that has cost him a lakh and a half as well as his job. I went into a deep depression. I couldn't concentrate in my job. I, uh, my uh, company was very upset with my performance, though they knew that I am framed in a false case, but they couldn't take it, they are corporate. Statistics suggest Gokul and Sohail are part of a huge crowd of unhappy husbands. Look at these statistics for just one year, 2004. 58,000 dowry cases registered and over 1,30,000 arrested, while 47,000 cases have reached the charge sheet stage. Over 10,000 cases have been dismissed as frivolous. And while over 5,000 have been convicted, more than four times that number have been let off. The controversial section not only covers dowry, but a wide spectrum of incidents, including cruelty, causing injury, or danger to mental or physical health. It is this all-consuming nature of the law that has legal experts worried. Normally in metropolitan cities like Bombay, Delhi, Madras, there, the complaints are filed by the women mainly to harass the husband and the in-laws under 498A. So, I am strongly of the view that uh, we need some change with our 498A is concerned. Often when marriages are broken, it's the wife who is the sufferer. But in some cases, it's the man who is the victim. Indeed, the section 498A of Indian Penal Code is a double-edged sword. Interestingly, the law that protects the wife can often be responsible for wrecking havoc in the husband's life. In Mumbai, Toral Varya.